Okay, in part six we'll be looking at rapid application development with a uh, third party software called Iron Speed Designer. Um, it's totally free. In order to run the software you need a couple of prerequisites. You need Internet Information Services which comes with Windows XP Pro. You'll need SQL Server 2005 Express which is free. And you'll need Iron Speed uh, Designer which is free. There's a free version. We will add a sample database uh, with SQL Server 2005. And then we'll add a contact table to that database. And then we'll use Iron Speed to generate all the VB source code by uh, pointing to that table that we just built. And then we'll run the program. The first thing we need is uh, SQL Server uh, Express uh, to, and I showed how to install that in a tutorial I did on idealprogrammer.com. So you go to idealprogrammer.com, and then, uh, you, under databases you select SQL Server, and there's a post called uh, "Installing uh, Tutorial One, Installing It." And the next thing you'll need is Iron Speed Designer, and to get that you go to Iron Speed. Uh, dot com with the uh, going back to the SQL Server you also need the management uh, studio which I show how to install in that but uh, okay for Iron Speed Designer you just download it here okay once you get uh, SQL Server and Iron Speed Designer installed you click on start all programs we now need to build the database and we go over to uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, I have mine in uh, here. And we need this uh, SQL Server Management uh, Studio Express. Click on that. Opens up. You want to connect to your database. It has your computer name and your uh, instance name. Connect. That opens up. So the first thing we need to do is add a database. So we right click on. I'm sorry. Uh, right click on databases. Say new database. up, enter a database name, let's call it Iron Speed. I'm going to call it two, uh, 1 because I already have a uh, plain Iron Speed out there. And this uh, allocates two files, your primary data file and a log file. Oops, did not need to do that. Uh, you click on the OK button. This is allocating that. Here's the new database. Now we need to add a table. So we come to tables. We see there's no tables there. So we right click on tables and say new table. It throws you into design mode. You start uh, adding your columns. And I'm going to pause this while I enter a few things. Okay, I entered my first column. I called it contact ID. I made it an uh, integer data type. And I unchecked the nulls because I want to make this the primary key. Then I come down here to where it says identity specification. And I change that. I, first I expand identity. Identity says, uh, can, does this have to be unique for each row? And uh, that's what I'm trying to make it unique. So I want it to be uh, identity, and this allows it to increment by one. And the starting one is the seed. So we start with one, and it increments from there automatically for you. And then we right click on this, and we set it to a primary key, and that puts a little key by it. 
And the rest of the columns are a lot easier, so I'll go ahead and enter those now. Okay, I added the rest of the fields. We have fir first name, and I made it 25 uh, of in character, and I'm allowing nulls in all the other fields here. A last name, phone, and uh, date added. I made it a small date time. And that's it. So now we click on uh, the X to close this table, and it'll ask us, do we want to save it? We say yes. And then we name it contact table. Or just contact. Click OK. Now we have our table out there. Now we want to start Iron Speed uh, Designer. I already have mine on my desktop here. This is probably under all programs. You may have it. Okay. So I'm starting Iron Speed Designer. Comes up. I say use the free edition. And then I go on uh, create new application and this shows you the steps how easy they are name your application choose your page style select your database select the tables and then build and run that's all there is to it so we click next and then we change the application name make it contact one uh, this is where the application will go it's uh, net framework 2.0 or 3.0 we're using visual basic net and click on next and this uh, starts creating the application for us then we select a style I'm choosing Matterhorn, that's uh, highlighted, and I click Next. They give you five templates in the free version. Then I select uh, Microsoft SQL Server for my database type. I pull this down to see the uh, uh, my computer name and instance name that I'm using. I click on Test Connection. The connection was verified. Click on Next. Here's my, my database. I select that. I double clicked it so it automatically put my table over there. But if I hadn't uh, double clicked it, I would click on tables and then it would uh, put that there. So that, that's the table we're going to create. Use it as a foundation application. Then I clicked on next. And then it's all built. Uh, we build and run. Recommended for first time users. And this is compiling uh, the application that it built. And then it'll open it up in a browser. Here's our application all built for us. It's got uh, all the fields that we added. Click on new. Fill in the fields and click on the up arrow to get the date. Click on save. And the first record is saved. Click on this to edit the record. You can change anything you like. Click on save. And you can delete your record if you want. That's it. Thanks.